slept in mitzvah hut this is the hut it's really nice it sleeps like 60 plus people and uh yeah just hung out with poles and the caretaker and uh caretaker was nice gave us um some leftover food and bread and we ate like half a block of butter <laughs> so so much better and now it's time to go climb Mount Washington. Yeah, so there's all these bunks. Super nice place. And it's a gray and foggy day. Staying in that hut overnight it was really nice. It's not heated, but it's really well insulated. So, um, much warmer than out here, even though it probably wasn't that cold of a night. Um, but, yeah, caretaker made us coffee and toast. We ate more <laughs> of his butter. Um, that was nice. I usually don't drink coffee, but when it's cold and whatnot, it's nice, but I can feel it. I'm all jittery now. So it would be good energy to climb Mount Washington with. Hoping to be able to climb out of the clouds. So we're at 3,800 feet right now. <coughs> and uh, Washington's at 62 something I think so that'd be really epic just pop out of the clouds <laughs> yeah, let's see yeah those huts are usually like very expensive 200 bucks a night to stay but uh, since it's off season it was 40 bucks, which a uh, little expensive for a bunk, but then again, we're at 3,800 feet on the side of a mountain. So, and that means you don't have to camp in the snow. So I'll take it. Um, yeah. Whew, dang, all right put this away so I can actually hike and uh, off to Washington. Biker spikes do a pretty good job digging in. Um, I much prefer the ice over post holing and my left shoulder hurts, my left hand hurts from where I fell on it yesterday. That is a really hard fall just feet slipped right out from under me. It broke my watch, <laughs> but this morning, it was like, it would freak out every time I tried to set the time, like it reset itself, but somehow it fixed itself overnight. This morning I was able to set my watch again, but that kind of gives you an idea of how hard I fell on it, that it managed to completely uh, break that watch. Um, yeah, it's actually not too cold. Probably uh, upper 30s right now. I'm actually starting to sweat, so I don't want that. Just gotta be careful that these spikes don't rip a hole in my pants. I really should take them off, but 
laziness wins out. Yeah. And these pants are so much sturdier. And everybody else on the calendar year triple has flipped over to the desert, but we're both gonna keep going. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's just nice to talk to somebody for a little bit. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Um, so Mars flipped somewhere, I think in Vermont, um, Blouse, Got to Hanover, he's headed to the PCT. Tank top flipped out in Killington area. Kansas Express um, got to the Kinsman's. And then Canary went to New Mexico after Pennsylvania. And then Professor, still on the AT, he because he started um, way later than the rest of us. God, it kills me to walk on rocks on these spikes because I know it's just making them dull. But it's too much ice and snow to keep taking it on and off. I'll have to sharpen them at some point probably. Um, yeah, Professor, he just made it into Massachusetts. I think his plan is to keep going because by the time he gets up here, Probably a lot more will be melted, but it actually might be worse for him if these monorails are like all soft and um, he's crunching through them. That would be even worse than what we're doing now. But uh, oh, and there was a there's a guy boomerang from Germany. He's not on social media at all, but he uh, flipped somewhere in Vermont as well, I believe. And I think that's all the people doing a calendar year this year. So it's a lot of people. Cool, this is the summit of Mount Pierce. That climb didn't feel like anything. It's at 43 and slept to 3,800. So yeah, um, so you can see incredible view around me. Cliff bar for breakfast. Where does the trail go? This way. In a longer stretch like this of rock, I take the spikes off. I mean, it's not that much effort to put on and take off, but it's just time consuming. Point four to Mount Washington and it's starting to clear up just a little bit. Oh man, heck yeah. It's gonna be the perfect day. Amazing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Incredible, like Lord of the Rings. So we had the option to go up Mount Eisenhower. The AT goes around Eisenhower. And as you can see, it's all socked in. So no point in climbing up that mountain right now. We'll see what it looks like around Monroe. I just, uh just took a dip right in this little slush pile of bullshit. And what, uh what do you got on your feet? I got these uh nice bread bags. I got a ziploc. I got a ziploc on my left one, uh bread bag on my right one. <laughs> and then I duct taped this earlier because my my zipper <laughs> broke. <laughs> but luckily Is it dry so far? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, cool. It just feels cold. <laughs> Oh, we're getting close to Monroe. Okay. <laughs> Just so you don't 
You're not a real through hiker until you shit yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I don't know, maybe. I'm still hoping over Washington, it's so high. I wonder if I can talk this into my side. Like do something with this. We're at like 5,000 feet. Totally in the clouds. Uh, I don't know if it, I can even see you through the fog. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, Chris. Yeah, met up with uh, Chris up here, Hyperlight sitting yeah. along. That's some nap eyes right now. <laughs> he was taking a nap at the top of, so <laughs> we missed the top of Monroe, but it was right up there. Nothing much to see. <laughs> but now we're headed down. Washington is next. Best thing about the fog here is you can't see how far Mount Washington is from here, which is like kind of daunting, but now that we can't see it, we're just gonna arrive at the summit. <laughs> there we go. We're going down. So. <laughs> I'm, only, yep. I'm only 32, but oh, you've seen some miles, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I'm 35 now, and the last few years, my body doesn't recover yeah, as right. fast. And <laughs> well, Dang, that's good footage, right I know, I got that on video. <laughs> I'm always so happy about that. <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't slide down the rest of that. But I would have got to the bottom faster. Oh. Two falls today now. Bleeding. <laughs> My hips are pretty raw. You can like camp on the top of the hut. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. That's like kind of funny. This is Lake of the Clouds hut. I wonder, yeah, the dungeon is probably all snowed in or iced in, huh? I can't figure out why they call it Lake of the Clouds. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Cloudy every day. Yeah, we stayed in the dungeon in 16 in it. It iced that night, it was like an ice storm. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm not even gonna try and go over that way. I <laughs> Stop, the area ahead has the worst weather in America. Many have died there from exposure, even in the summer. Turn back now if the weather is bad. <laughs> Pretty icy. Heck yeah, wow. So stoked. Clearing up, it's gonna be amazing. Wow, we're really close to it. You're right, you just don't even realize where it's at. It's the most ideal scenario to be hiking in the fog <laughs> when you're going to Scott Washington. Oh. Wow, yeah, there it is. We're close to it. Is that the summit right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. no way, huh, okay. Damn, I wish I had sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. I love it when the trail is a river. Wow. We're above the clouds. This is so cool. Wow. <laughs> that is unreal. Well, I promise I'm gonna get a super dope portrait for you, dude. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I need a new like profile picture or something. <laughs> Almost at the summit. Here's 
the weather station up here. They've recorded the highest winds on all of planet Earth up here. 200, do you remember what it was? 231 miles an hour. 231, and then it blew away the instruments. And uh, today there's hardly any wind. I got so lucky. I'm gonna get it out from these microwave towers. <laughs> That's probably not good for you. Wow. Pretty cool. Oh, I see, and then the summit's up there. We're at the summit, Mount Washington. This is sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is probably better weather than most northbounders are gonna get this year. There's hardly any wind. It's beautiful. Good day. So in the summers, this is usually open. And there's a restaurant up in there. There's a post office up top. <laughs> you can send a postcard from the top of Mount Washington. But that's all closed right now. Gross ice. Um, I might just hop on the cog. It's actually probably easier. That'd be, but yeah. yeah, look, dude. You see this shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah, just black. Yeah, that's all just gross from the. Yeah, it's like cold, dude. From the cog. But this cog rail line goes right up Mount Washington and it just disgorges tourists up at the top every day. So you'll see people up here in like flip flops and and uh, nothing at all. It's privately owned. Privately owned. So it's 90 feet wide is all that it's a privately owned. Uh, and we're on eight of them. Yeah, it is probably illegal to walk this right now or something. Uh, <laughs> Private property. Yeah. I would George hate you the shit out of this if I had to. <laughs> <laughs> there is a proposal. Head up like you're looking up in the sky. A little bit lower. Yeah, you got the other lens. That looks really good. Uh, my name's Chris Shane. I'm a photographer and filmmaker. I'm out here with Poles and uh, Quad and getting to know you guys and hopefully going to do a little video on Quad and his journey and his story and calendar year Triple Crown and over the course of the summer and the fall. Um, yeah, it's been an awesome day today. <laughs> yeah, this is time. I'm going to put on micro spikes because if you slide off of this stuff, you're gone. <laughs> Man, this side of the mountain definitely feels more, more treacherous. Some of the stuff you would, uh, you don't want to go down there. Uh, doesn't really look like people have come through this traverse. And the snow up here now is just like slush and it's melting. And so every step you're just sinking into this freezing cold, fresh snow melt water. Uh, this is not the right day to not wear my waterproof socks. Cause I had thought all this ridge walking would be like melted out. And uh, the socks combined with the micro spikes have been even blisters on the top of my feet. So I was trying to avoid that, but yeah, every step now is just like walking in a slushy. <laughs> like if you were to take those little icy drinks um, and just walk through it. That's what it's like up here. This is the stuff where people get lost and die up here because the visibility drops down to nothing and then 
Not if they lose the Cairns. They just die of exposure. Black on the sea of white. You might be a little early, buddy. Look how stupid this is. I'm going back in because I'm already wet, but that is just cold, fucking cold ice water. Uh, narrate, what just happened? I just ate shit on this rock right here. Yeah, you That's fell. about it. Gnarly deep. <laughs> Ow. Fuck. It is so much work. Wow. Man, this is wild. Can't see shit. But this side is just it's, line. it's just white. The fucking line. Dude, that's so crazy. <laughs> it's I mean, like white and then less white. I don't know if the camera can Yeah. It just shows up as white, pure white. Oh my god, that's so weird. That's so weird. This is super weird right now. Like it's just white clouds and then white snow in the horizon like it's really disorienting like I'm walking and I feel like um, like I'm off balance like it's messing with my eyes <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know if it'll show up on the camera it's, it's like you lose your total sense of where the horizon is so somebody built a cairn way up there. We thought that was a trail, but it's not. We have to go all the way back down here. That's where the actual trail is. So thanks, whoever built a fucking cairn up in the middle of nowhere. We just climbed 200 feet for no reason and had to descend it. This is so epic. My uh, camera ran out of memory, so I gotta change that. But look at this. Look at this view. And it's a uh, kind of sketch. This would not be a good place to fall. Holy shit. Friggin' crazy. Nice and slow. Don't fall down the mountain because actually with all the snow it's pretty good footing. Kelsey and pick us up. Maybe it is high. 
high 30s. That's the Madison Spring Hut down there. And then Mount Madison is the end. Took another fall right on that rock. And uh, yeah, took that skin right off. I see white under there, so white by fat. So that's fun. Let's all that. What did you do? Did you just do, did you do Madison and then? Let's climb up Madison. Quite steep, very rocky, half a mile straight up. Making very little progress because I keep stopping to oh, take photos and videos. It's just so amazing. quote-unquote trail up here. Just this mess of rocks. Better than ice though. At least my shoes grip to this stuff and I'm not gonna fall. Just gotta be nimble. It's so amazing. Getting these shots is so much work. Oh my god. I can't get over that view of Washington behind me. God, it's so steep. Wow. Yeah, we're at the summit. Madison. The view is just unreal. Let's see Washington. Um, do you know what peak that is? I forget. Oh, no, that might, I think that's Jackson. Where is it, Adams? Jackson was earlier. We'll look at the map. I think I might rather go down snow than rocks like this. Definitely glad it's not icy in here, but man, it's a pain in the butt.
Look at this view. Enjoying it with a nice Reese's cup. No, no. I'm putting my micro spikes on is what I'm doing. That's what's happening right now. Poles just fell right there and took a chunk out of his hand. Which I shouldn't laugh at you because I'm probably going to fall again. I can't even sit down anymore. Fucking shit. It gets steeper down there. Wouldn't be so bad if it was just ice or just rock, but it's a mix. Look at this dinner that Base Weight made for us. Are you happy? I'm happy.